Canada Road Safety Week is underway. To mark the occasion, the B.C. government has enacted new and tougher seatbelt regulations. Dunya Tozzi has more on the rule changes. Nearly 400 people died last year in motor vehicle crashes. And one of the main causes is as simple as not wearing a seatbelt. But the government is hoping to change that by implementing new and tougher seatbelt regulations starting this week. Fines for drivers who don't wear seatbelts are going up to $167 from 138 and to hammer this point home, the RCMP are using a crash test simulator to demonstrate the dangers of refusing to buckle up. So the point that we're trying to put across is that everybody gets belted in and that if one person doesn't, there's nothing wrong with the other people saying, hey, put your seatbelt on. On the streets of Vancouver, most people seem to acknowledge the importance of seatbelt safety. And everybody should wear a seatbelt. Every passenger who has a vehicle should wear a seatbelt. Well, they make sense, but I've been in a couple of accidents myself where they've definitely helped me and helped the occupants in my car. I didn't like them when they first came out, when they uh, were first legislated years and years ago, but I wear mine all the time now and I think they save lives. So about 10% of the population still don't wear seat belts and that's causing 40% of the fatalities. And they're hoping by using the simulator everywhere uh, that this is going to encourage people to wear their seat belts and reduce fatalities and make it a safer place for everyone. Dunia Tozzi in Vancouver for BCIT Magazine.